Welcome to this daily Advent devotional. It's looking a lot like Christmas with the snow falling in the background here. I've been uh, taping these last few uh, devotionals from my father-in-law's home. Uh, my wife and I are here to give him some assistance while he's uh, transitioning back from the hospital into his home. He lives in a split level, so he's doing wonderfully well, but we just want to make sure that he's he stays that way, so um, that's why the background may not be familiar to you as you hear these Advent devotionals. Thanks for your prayers, by the way, for him. Uh, he's doing terrific. Um, the lesson today, or the scripture reading that I'd like us to think of, is as we look at these characters and the story of the Nativity, we move to Joseph. And we read about Joseph, we meet Joseph in Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 through 25. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sin. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child, and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took Mary home as his wife, but he had no union with her until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. I have such admiration and respect for Joseph in the Christmas story. He must be one of the most selfless men that ever lived on the face of the earth. Um, and he must also have been one of the most God-fearing and believing men that ever lived. Um, to be able to accept that this uh, event that uh, he was confronted with, with from, by his fiance when she returned from her visit with Elizabeth, that she was pregnant and it was by the Holy Spirit, uh, to believe her and to, to not want to disgrace her. You know, some people, some men would have been enraged and they'd had no qualms at all of exposing um, their fiance to public disgrace. But that wasn't Joseph. Um, he was called a righteous man, and there was a connection between his um, concern for Mary, his compassion, his desire not to disgrace her, and the fact that he was righteous. Um, the scriptures make that pretty clear, that it was his response to the situation that uh, elicited his being called a righteous man. And so God obviously reached out uh, to Joseph to explain to him what Mary was experiencing and what he was being asked to do as uh, the earthly father of Jesus. And it says after the angel came and explained the situation to him, and as he, when he woke up from the dream, he did exactly what the angel had said. He took Mary to be his wife um, and, and named Jesus um, after he was born. Our compassion is related to our righteousness. Uh, as we uh, choose to treat people with compassion and love, um, we are exemplifying the life that God calls us to live. We're ex we are um, being like God. Uh, we're behaving as God would behave. God has always been compassionate to us. The Bible says that we are going to be clothed with the righteousness of Christ. It's not a righteousness of our own. It's a righteousness that he has won for us at the cross. And so our righteousness is to be a reflection of his presence in our life. And Joseph certainly reflected the righteousness of God in the way that he treated Mary. And as a result of that, God explained to him his, God's plans and purpose. And as Joseph accepted it um, and took Mary, he became part of the greatest story that was ever told. Um, and he, as a result, He's a, a man who's revered uh, by millions and millions of people. Um, let's pray that our lives will be lived righteously as we are compassionate and clothed with the righteousness of Christ and respond to people the way that God has responded to us with mercy and grace. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you.